The subject of the tutorial today is Reaction Monitoring Data Analysis. I will show you Kinetics, our new and exciting tool for the easy extraction of kinetic information from NMR Reaction Monitoring Data. Kinetics is included in Dynamic Center, a software for analyzing NMR data with non Fourier dimensions. The Kinetics workflow starts by selecting the folder containing our processed data and dragging it to the Kinetics method. We then add the dead time, if any, in seconds. This is a time delay between mixing and the start of acquisition. We expand the region of interest and, using the slider, we can see the time evolution of our signals. We then proceed to visualize all spectra at once so we can detect any reaction intermediate. In this example, the program has opened 235 spectra and now it is overlapping them all. When finished, the aromatic region is expanded to accurately integrate the regions of interest. Right click, select multiple integration regions and drag and drop over one, two and the third one. Press stop, undo expansion, select the aliphatic region and again add multiple integration regions. One, two, three, four, and the fifth. Click on Stop when finished. We go back to Single Spectrum View and center Region 6 by moving the integral box. Then, using the slider, we check that the results are satisfactory along the time domain. The next step is the analysis of the data, but first undo the expansion so we see all the signals. Select Error Estimation by Weight Fit, which is the preferred option for the analysis of kinetic data. And now is time to visualize the results. Click on View, OK, and move the cursor over the peaks to obtain the kinetic profiles. The Profiles window can be expanded to full screen for more accurate inspection of the results. We see that the initial intensity for Profile 6, in black, is double than that for 2 and 3, in cyan and green. To apply a correction based on number of nuclei and obtain a concentration graphic, right-click on Peak 6, select Annotation and set the number of nuclei to 2. Proceed to reanalyze the data, click on the Normalize tab and check Normalize. We are going to use normalization based on peak name, in this case, peak 1, one of the regions, and based on spectrum 1, or initial concentration. Set the 250 as concentration value, and check Divide by number of nuclei, then OK. Visualize the profiles again. Now we select time in minutes, and then in the axis label field, we can write anything we wish, such as intensity, concentration. Click OK. By moving the cursor over the peaks, the profiles will be visualized. This time, the output is a concentration graphic. By toggling the window, you see it in full screen. We are now ready for reporting. Click on Report, set name and the path for the report, and click OK. We will then obtain a PDF with our results showing the spectrum view that was on screen, the reaction rate constants, overlapped profiles and the results from fitting each of the curves. We not only can report but also export our results to Excel or to text file. Click on Export, set the name and path and click OK. Launch Excel and open our file called Test. Click on the Integrals tab, select them, copy, click on a new sheet, do paste special and select Transpose. Insert scatter plot, and there you go, there is your graphic in Excel. And that's all for Chapter 1.